The first one I want to go through is the in light uh, theme that we've created. And to put this in some context, I just want to make sure when we talk about themes and, and the ways that the editor can be implemented, chances are you're, you're probably used to one of the ways. So I just want to get everybody kind of level set on the different ways you can implement the editor, and then we'll look at what the in light functionality does to that. So the, the tab you're looking at right now in my browser is, is what I would refer to as the traditional way to implement Tiny MCE. Uh, you get a nice big rectangular region, you get menu bars, toolbars, uh, at the bottom, uh, you get something that tells you word count, and it tells you where you are in the HTML hierarchy. Uh, th this is probably the way the majority of you see Tiny MC. Uh, at some point after this mode of using the editor appeared, uh, we came out with the concept of inline editing. Uh, and I apologize for the big, ugly, blue dashed border. Uh, my pretty little border, people used to tell me they couldn't see it in GoToMeeting. So we're, we have a big, giant, ugly blue border now, which people tell me they can see. But basically, when I click into one of these regions, one of these bordered regions, Tiny MCE's full menu toolbar shows up. Now, I can determine how much of that I want to show up. I could do very little parts of the toolbar. I can, you know, toolbar and menu bars. So it's, it's still customizable very much in the same way that the standard mode is. But here you really don't see the kind of the, the paraphernalia of Tiny until you click into an editable section that needs the editor. So that, that's the inline editing mode, and we've had this mode for quite some time. So it, it's possible that you've been using Tiny in this way as opposed to the standard mode. Uh, the, the purpose of the inlight, and I'll show you inlight in just a moment, is there are some fairly... Uh, and I don't want to call them simplistic, some, some lightweight editing use cases where the, 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 the existence of the entire menu and toolbar is potentially a little more than you need. So the idea behind Inlight, I'm going to switch tabs here one more time. The idea behind Inlight is simply clicking into an editable region should not make anything appear. So now I am, I am in the editor and I am interacting with Tiny MCE and I can bold stuff, uh, et cetera. But when I double click to select something, I get a toolbar. Likewise, if I hit enter to start on a new line, I get a toolbar to assist me with things I would do when I start a new block element or when I select text. Uh, so for those of you who go to look at the inline theme as a potential uh, way to do inline editing, uh, you may be familiar from other ways of using the editor that in your configuration, there's a toolbar option or a toolbar config setting, and that defines to the editor what appears in your toolbars. Uh, there's also one for the menus. Uh, instead of a single toolbar in the inlight theme, there are two toolbars. There's the insert toolbar and the selection toolbar. So anytime you select text, the toolbar that comes up is handled by the selection toolbar setting. So any option you want in the selection toolbar, you set there. Uh, this is just a tiny MC toolbar like any other. So anything you would put in a traditional toolbar, you can put in here. When I hit enter to move to a new line, uh, that is handled through the insert toolbar setting. So there are things you may want to put on the insert toolbar that do not belong on the selection or vice versa. Uh, so you'll notice my choices here are different than my choices there. Some are the same. I put them in different orders just to make it obvious that it's two separate toolbars but you have complete control over what you want in each of those toolbars. So the, the general idea behind the inlight theme is only provide people toolbar functionality when they, when they need it, when they explicitly need it. Don't have the toolbar there all the time. Uh, we are not, somebody asked this in one of the earlier webinars, we're not getting rid of the other inline method. So people who have done this and like this and want to continue with this, uh, nothing to worry about. We're not getting rid of this mode in any way, shape, or form. We are simply adding the in-light mode as a way to provide an even more distraction-free, uh, streamlined user interface for people who want that. So that's, in a nutshell, that's the in-light theme. 